Hey, what's up guys? So welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, I've been doing a little bit of work here on the car. So I wanted to dive into an install of the AEM water methanol injection kit. A lot of you guys have been asking how to do it. There have there has been another person that have been using his uh, tutorial as kind of a guide. However, he did draw it out in three videos, so it was a little long. So I'm gonna try to condense it for you guys. Mine is a 2016 Subaru WRX. I currently have pretty much full bolt-ons with, with flex fuel and everything like that. However, my tuner is gonna want me to use the methanol injection kit to uh, raise the octane so we can control the situation if we run out of fueling um, because of my catalyst downpipe and uh, if we do uh, experience boost creep or anything like that. So uh, let's dive into it. I'm gonna kind of run into it. I started the installation already. So uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, show you guys how what I've done so far. Okay guys, so starting from the back of the car, you guys can see that I went ahead and followed my buddy Chris's uh, instructions on how to mount the, um, the tank to the seat. It's actually metal backing in some areas. So uh, the included self-tapping sheet metal screws and the washers, those seem to work fine. Uh, as you guys can see, the line is actually running down here. And then uh, let me go ahead and cover what's down here. Cause uh, I, you can go ahead and cover it up with the OEM piece like this. So as you guys can see, uh, the OEM covers go on here just fine. Let me go ahead and lift this all up and show you exactly where the pump is mounted and how the meth lines are running. Okay, so the kit comes with uh, basically a 200 PSI pump. It's pretty, you know, reliable. I have it currently bolted down to the floor. I actually had drilled through the, and then I, I used the nylock uh, nuts on the other side. Uh, it's been pretty good at keeping the thing pretty stable. Um, it has rubber feet and rubber isolators on the from the kit, so you guys can see that it's. Uh, you know, it's gonna hold its own against the vibrations and things like that. So the meth lines go in and then they're run through. And let's go ahead and cover where those go. All right, so you guys can see that the meth line is currently coming down. Uh, Nervo's uh, tutorial is awesome. It actually shows you right here, uh, the meth line clipped into the body clip. So I ran that forward, ran that forward all under there uh you know basically following the fuel lines basically and then let's go ahead and show you guys how this looks like um i don't know if you guys can see that but you guys can go ahead and see that uh the methyl line goes through the grommet right above the fuel line right there so um basically uh you just gotta use a little drill bit and poke a little hole through it um the holes are actually pretty big so you could run the wiring got to remove a few trim pieces um, along the panel and that made it pretty easy but other than that guys um, that's currently where I stand that grommet goes to right there where the methyl line is coming out okay so that's where I stand right now uh, I got to do the wiring right now and yeah we'll, we'll run through this install together guys all right guys, so the next part of this install process is the uh, controller. So let me go ahead and uh, show you guys just how that looks. Okay, so this is the AEM water methanol injection uh, controller. Basically, uh, you set this as your start PSI. I think uh, my tuner wants it at like, uh, wants it at like seven uh, to start opening and then full at basically 10. So um, this is a, uh, this is basically the brains of the unit. Uh, there's a couple. There's a couple of functions on here, like error codes, um, but we'll get into that. Basically, I plan on mounting this right here. Um, there is a convenient, you know, we can actually just mount it right here, so just like that, and that way, um, you know, I can actually just pop it right off and then just put it back on. Uh, it will it'll have the wire harness that goes. That's the other stop step I have to finish out is route the boost line uh, as well as the wire harness. So we'll get to it and then uh, keep on going. Okay guys, so welcome back. As you guys can see from the mess, we're right here on the, uh, the basically the wiring phase. So far so good. I'm gonna have to get some more zip ties. I, I didn't have them with me or maybe actually some electrical tape as well. But uh, yeah, I'm actually tucking away the wiring back exactly in the same location as where the meth lines were run. 
this is the controller harness and there's a red and black wire that you guys can see right there that's going to go right through the firewall in the same uh basically the grommet that i used earlier right there so yeah lots of wiring it kind of gets all tangled up and everywhere but other than that i mean it's fairly straightforward i'll show you guys um this is the boost line sorry this is the boost line um, as you can see, I also went through that uh, that grommet over there. We have the meth line right here. So yeah, we're just getting finished up on the wiring. Not not too crazy of an install, but it looks very intimidating as you can see with all the wires and all the trim pieces off and everything. But other than that, I'm gonna get cracking to it, and uh, I'll see you guys uh, when I wire it up to the pump. Okay, welcome back, guys. So uh, yeah. Most of the wires are actually run. It's all along this door sill that we're gonna be using. Make sure to be careful on these clips here because uh, the ones here, uh, if you pull too hard, they're gonna, they're gonna snap. So yeah, I ran it through there. And again, all along that trim piece as well. Following along the uh, electrical connectors for the actual car. And there we go. We got the four wires that we need to get back from on this AM kit. One is a pink wire, orange wire, white wire, as well as a brown wire. Um, the two of those are gonna be for the level sensor on that tank over there. Uh, and the two of them are gonna be for the power for the pump. So let's get to it and I'm gonna go ahead and hook those up. Okay guys, losing a little bit of sunlight here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stop for today. Um, pick it up tomorrow, but you can kind of see why a lot of guys do this over two days now But I'll go ahead and show you guys where I'm at. I still uh, I went ahead and ran all the orange Pink white and brown wires through this as you can see it's nicely tucked away now uh, only thing remaining Are my fail safe uh, for my boost for my solenoid wire as well as the um, the other ones are for the LED and a, and a couple of other ones so uh, in the arm switch so these are all um, I, I can get to these a little bit later but uh, just wanted to show you guys um, running it through the car I highly recommend using something like uh, I used this I use a clothes hanger so what I did was I'm show you guys uh, when the seat was all off I would go ahead and bring this down uh, through the hole and then when the wires are down here I would tie it and then pull it back up so it really worked out well I did the same for when I wanted to pull the the power and ground wire for the actual controller through the grommet here so as you guys can see power I just have it zip tied for right now the meth line's not connected same thing with the boost uh, reference line um, just have it tied up for right now because I have to actually I have to return that guy because uh, we are we've been uh, subjected to a lemon law case on this one so we won that and this guy's going by so this will be the only car we have in our household for a little bit so uh, we'll see if I can uh, manage to have a child uh, daily this and uh, have the wife share it as well so yeah that's it I'm gonna go ahead and connect these probably tomorrow uh, and then I have some VP racing m5 uh, methanol coming in so waiting for that okay welcome back to the channel guys so it is the next day wanted to go through it I actually finished the install so wanted to cover what I did with you guys so yeah let's go ahead and cover this so I went ahead and mounted my tank to the back of the seat right there you guys can see the level sensor right there wiring all run down the nylon tubing is going to the pump which is actually mounted in the spare tire well uh, area I did notice one thing I kind of mounted it a little high here and I think I'm gonna move it to this spot right here because if I do that I noticed that because of the recess of the spare tire you can actually fit the rear um, the spare tire back in here so right now uh, I don't have a spare tire but I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in. So the trim piece over here just uh, goes ahead and pops back in right there. 
the meth line, as you guys can see, is running uh, down through the cabin, through the driver's side. And I'll, I'll kind of run through how that's working here. So as you guys can see, I have one of the trim pieces removed. That is the meth line right there. So let me go ahead and point that out, guys. That is it right there. It's in this nice little clip, so you can drop it right there. Uh, and as you guys can see, I actually did the wire. The wire's in that same clip. So if you go over through the front, meth line, again, let's see. Let me get some light on here. meth lines all running through here and then you guys see the meth line running through the firewall um, and and the wiring the ground wire from the uh, battery as well as the power wire uh, is coming back from there so that's going to this is kind of where I left off last time guys so, just wanted to show you guys the function of the system because it's all wired up now. So as you guys can see, LED status light works just fine. Right now, it's flashing just one flash like that. And that just means it's low on fluid right now. I already did the drain uh, with distilled water. Now, a lot of guys were asking about this little install. So, as you guys can see, I mounted my controller right here. I have to remount it with better tape because it's uh, kind of coming off. But this this is actually a location that I really liked, and um, you know, a couple of guys were asking me about it. So the reason why I like it here, as you guys can see, uh, you need an ignition fuse tap. So a 12 volt ignition fuse tap, which I have right there through the cigarette lighter uh, fuse tap, way there on the bottom left. So that is actually how this guy powers it up. So right now, actually I don't even have this set correctly, but uh, my tuner wants to start spraying at 10 PSI and then finish, or I'm sorry, the final full spray at 14 PSI. So that's, uh, I just, that's how easy it is to go ahead and uh, check that or change that. Uh, and then this test button is actually how you would um, basically test your water mesh system. So let's go ahead and check that out. I'm not gonna test it right now because I have no fluid in, in there, but this is the uh, end result, guys. Uh, all in all, I think this took about six hours. That grommet where you guys saw on the firewall, that's actually where it exits right there. So the wires from the battery runs through there, the meth line runs through there, and then the boost line which is right here. I don't have it tapped in. It's just uh, zip tied off right now. And the reason being is I'm actually tapping into this location. Uh, I cut this hose already and I had to find a little, basically a barb fitting for right now, just because this requires a quarter inch, quarter inch, and then this boost hose is one eighth inch. So you need a three way T with a quarter inch, quarter inch, and an eighth inch um, uh, port so that you can, uh, uh, wire these all in and, and get the boost reference to the controller back through this so uh, That's kind of how the system works. It is dependent on boost So, you know, it's not fully spraying all, all you know when you're on throttle or anything like that It is dependent on boost. So um, The last piece I just don't have it done yet And the reason why is uh, I'm still waiting for the the uh, AM solenoid to come in and this solenoid is basically more of a safety device uh, making sure that the meth is flowing at the at the right time and it's not coming out when, when you're when you're not needing it or anything like that. So that solenoid bracket's probably gonna take place right here. So I'm gonna move over this Cobb Flex Fuel Sensor uh, sending unit to over here, uh, and then I'm gonna put the bracket there, just like how uh, our friend Chris over on the Facebook group has done it. Uh, and then the last piece would be to install the nozzle. Right now I just have the the zip tied right now, but the nozzle would go right here on my Grimspeed meth pump. So all in all guys, I think the job, yeah, six hours or so, not too bad. You know, make sure you consult with your tuner because when you start running meth injection, the car will run, uh, it will run, it will run uh, 
you know basically lean and and rich and all kinds of things so when you're introducing a, um, a cooler charge to your your intake charge so uh, I think it's uh, something that you should definitely consult with your tuner but that's it for this video thank you guys for tuning in and uh, yeah let's get spraying on flex fuel and meth on the next video